This one has been dismantled. That's the battery out of it right there. Been taken out, taken apart. Somebody's trying to figure out a way of hot wiring these things. And that's one of those BOs or whatever. It amazes me. These people don't pick that junk up and then somebody destroys it. Oh, this is down here on the bicycle path. On the, uh... That's Jimmy Carter Library grounds over there across the roadway. So you can get an idea where it's at. But they need to come and pick up their junk. If they don't, you have to. Got a broken storm drain. Williams Mill Linwood. Got us some new artwork out here on farms. Used to be the salon. It was burned to the ground by rioters and looters. And, and Flora is still trying to put her life back together. And I must tell you, this, this, this presumption that you hear consistently and from Joe Biden and Kamala Harris, that, uh, that America is systemically racist. Mm -hmm. And that as Joe Biden said, that he believes that law enforcement has an implicit bias against minorities. Uh, is, is a great insult to the men and women who serve in law enforcement. And I want everyone to know who puts on the uniform of law enforcement every day that President Trump and I stand with you. It is remarkable that, that when Senator Tim Scott tried to pass a police reform bill, brought together a group of Republicans and Democrats, Senator Harris, you got up and walked out of the room. And then you filibustered Senator a Tim Scott's bill on the Senate floor that would have provided new accountability, new repeat resources, but we don't have to choose between supporting law enforcement, proving public safety, and supporting our African-American neighbors you, and all of our minorities. I wonder how uh, Joe Biden and Camilla Harris intend to legalize marijuana. And it was hard enough to get uh, CBD oil legal in the state of Georgia. Uh, and it's up to the states to decide on whether or not they're legalized. What are they going to do? Write an executive order? <laughs> Besides, the fines that are collected by the counties, cities, and municipalities are used in programs like, uh, Fire, EMS, police, water and sewage, waste removal. Yeah, 
All those scenes are funded by fines that are collected for various uh, minor offenses. See, and uh, they're not thinking about the Bible Belt, nor the medical profession, which will raise hellly hell about this. I mean, you're already complaining. Senator Harris conveniently omitted that after the president made comments about people on either side of the debate over monuments, he condemned the KKK, neo-Nazis, and white supremacists, and has done so repeatedly. You're concerned that he doesn't condemn neo-Nazis. President Trump has Jewish grandchildren. His daughter and son-in-law are Jewish. And this is a president who, who respects and cherishes all of the American people. If you talk about having personally prosecuted, I'm glad you brought up your record, Senator. Thank you. But that's, I, I really need to make this point. When you, were, when you were DA in San Francisco, when you left office, African Americans were 19 times more likely to be prosecuted for minor drug offenses than whites and Hispanics. When you were Attorney Thank General you. of California, Thank you, you increased the, purport, the disproportionate incarceration of Thank blacks you. in California. Yes. You did nothing on criminal justice reform in California. You didn't lift a finger to pass the first step back on Capitol Hill. I mean, the reality is your record speaks Thank for you, itself. President. President Trump and I have. Joe Biden has already said he's going to raise taxes. So, even if they raise the minimum wage, instead of you working one day to pay your taxes out of a five-day week and taking home four days pay, you're going to be taking home two days pay. You're going to be working three days for free. Just to pay your income taxes. That's Joe Biden for you. Because of, of how personal it is, I, I noticed that too. Uh, and this was part of me that thought, you know what, they don't want to go there right now. But I also thought, Lester, that there have been so many things said by the president in the video tonight, in the video when he first came back, not wearing a mask. I was surprised that the whole issue of masks didn't come up because. Uh, the Vice President talked about mandates, but it's the advice of their own public health officials and their refusal to wear masks and all the things that they've been justly criticized for, him taking off the mask when he first came back to the White House. I was surprised that that did not come up and that she didn't score on those points. Let me bring in J.C. Hunt, who of course covered Capitol Hill for us. I heard Nancy Pelosi, the House Speaker, say she had texted some encouragement to Kamala Harris before the debate and then said, health care, health care, health care. That is clearly the terrain that the Democrats want to run on, and Kamala Harris certainly brought it up at every available opportunity. She did, Savannah, and that was one of her most direct lines, looking into the camera and saying, they're coming for you, talking about people's health care uh, and, and what they are relying on now, especially uh, in a pandemic where if, in fact, they were to lose coverage for pre-existing or pre-existing conditions, so many people would suddenly have the pre-existing condition of having had uh, COVID in the past. But, you know, one thing that stuck out to me, Savannah, as I was listening to uh, the conversation is, you know, Kamala Harris, with a smile, pushed back on Mike Pence's repeated talking over time and interrupting her. She was sort of very deft uh, and, and careful to, uh, when she said, hey, you're interrupting me. They just put out new guidance saying they want to wait two months until people get their last vaccine in the trials to make sure it's safe. But what Vice President Pence didn't mention there is the fact that, that they themselves are doing a little bit of undermining because the president today tweeted out exactly saying that the USDA rules make it more difficult for them to speed up vaccines for approval before election day, just another political hit job. And so, you know, what we're seeing here is on both sides, you know, getting accused of doing a politics behind the vaccine instead of doing health behind the vaccine. And like uh, Senator Harris said, you know, she'd take it if doctors said take it, but wouldn't take it if President Trump said take it. All right, John, thanks. I have to fight an urge to laugh every time I think about what Camilla Harris said about uh, 
the COVID-19 relief package from President Trump. <laughs> that woman flat out lied about that. And the Democrats have stacked the, uh, rather at the uh, prosecutors, but uh, liberal prosecutors, those that are soft on crime and hard on police, but that's the way things are. And Miller Harris lied to everybody right then and there, and she got caught in it. A crosswalk to nowhere. This is a crosswalk that takes me nowhere. Now I have to use the driveway. Plenty of space to put a sidewalk in. Uh -huh. Black Rock. And look at this crap all over the damn walkway. Shouldn't have to go around that crap. 